Here's a video I uploaded, I think it was last year, maybe two years ago. It's about the Prophecy Club interview with that Maurice Scalar, where he had an in-depth vision and dream about basically the destruction of America, this big massive earthquake. Then he saw where the UN soldiers come flooding in, and he said that they were like zombies. And basically, if you didn't go with them to the FEMA camps, they would just kill you in your house. I had a dream America was bombed in New York City and Florida, and Russian troops invaded us and were putting America in FEMA camps. Now see, I always wondered if the New World Order set up all these FEMA camps for future invading armies to maintain and control. In other words, the power elite, they might tell the military that eh, they're building all these FEMA camps for civil unrest just in case there's an economic crash or some major disaster you know whatever deception or excuse they are telling the military is not what the real purpose behind these FEMA camps really are in fact years ago I stumbled upon a video on YouTube five visions of end times and basically this guy he saw where foreign troops were rounding up Americans and they were trying to sniff out the Christians. And it really makes me wonder if it was all planned out from the beginning. The power elite are going to use foreign troops to kill you. Here's a video I uploaded a couple months ago, and it's got quite a few comments. I've gone through some of the comments, and there are actually some very important pieces of knowledge in some of these comments they left. Check out this comment. This is one of the reasons why they want Americans disarmed. Georgia has already passed a law making it legal to carry out capital punishment with guillotines, or guillotines, however you want to pronounce it. A person killed this way can have their organs harvested, whereas if you get lethal injection, you cannot harvest. And at first, it sounds too crazy to believe, like, man, surely that can't be true. But when you go check it out, yeah, it is true. Georgia has apparently passed laws, I don't know, six, seven years ago where they can use guillotines to kill people. And of course, our mainstream media is not going to say anything about it. They're not going to advertise or promote this. I wish more people understood what's going on here. The UN will be the ones to kill Americans. When you see the UN trucks during martial law, you know what's coming. Yeah, I definitely have to agree, because all the Christians throughout the decades that have had all these disturbing dreams, these end-time dreams, they always see foreign troops rounding up Americans in these FEMA camps or these modern day concentration camps. But you have to understand how easy would it be to round people up to FEMA camps when there's no grocery stores, when there's no gas stations, when it's like a hopeless situation. If they were more concerned about feeding their family, uh, they're going to give up their guns. And I would like to point out, remember down in Houston after the big water, the big flooded water, they're doing like martial law exercises where they're doing gun confiscations. I mean, it's kind of obvious. After a big disaster is the best time to take guns or round people up or, you know, go to FEMA camps. And basically that's what they see after the massive earthquake that splits America in half. The guy that can build the cheap underground bunker without leaving a money trail in the right location now is going to be the guy that survives to the end. Imagine if you bought some, let's say, 10 acres of land out in the middle of Montana. You know, no one cares about northern Montana. And you have figured out how to dig a generic or cheap underground bunker without anybody knowing about it and you start storing up on food and water and you figured out how to secure your bunker so it can handle the massive earthquake guess what you're going to be the guy that survives to the end just remember don't ever take your cell phone or any gps tracking device to whatever location you have planned to survive at because you and soldiers are going to go back and they're going to track where all you've been, you know, these repetitious movements that you've done, and they're going to come and find you. So keep that in mind.